thank you very much for watching. We have a capacitor, high voltage capacitor before us, uh, which works in a microwave. Now, I want us to learn how to test this thing here. Uh, you have to know how to to test the bad one and uh, the good one. How do you tell? I have a multimeter here and it is set in continuity. So I have my leads here and we want to test and see what we get. So I'll put uh, these leads on each terminal like that like that. Now, I should be getting a reading on my screen, but it's like uh, I don't, I'm not getting any reading. So that's the first thing that will show me that this capacitor is in good condition. So if it was to, sh uh, to continue with each other, then it would be faulty. But then we have to do a second test. We have to test with the casing. There is somewhere they have welded here the second terminal nada nothing there so that definitely means that this capacitor is not faulty a faulty capacitor will short with the body and also uh, it will continue uh, the continue there will be a continuity between the terminals but then there is one thing you have to know that this capacitor it has got uh, a 10 mega ohm resistor so you must check out also that one to see if really it's doing this job. So now to do that, you will turn your dial from continuity to the to here to the mega ohm, where around the range of 200 mega ohm because now we are testing 10 mega ohm. So that range is pretty good for us. And uh, you should be getting reading around 10, uh, still 10 to 12. Yeah, it should be getting a reading from uh, 10 to 12. So now we have to test. To rise. That's 10.8. Yeah, so even if it is 11, it's right there, considered on 11. And uh, there, our reading should vary between 10 and 12, so that should be good. So remember, I told you your, your multimeter has to be set from continuity. Remember, we used to continuity to test between uh, each terminal and the casing and then between the terminals. But since the capacitor has got a resistor of uh, 10 mega ohm, so we have to change our multimeter to to the range of 10 mega ohm so we have 200 mega ohm here so we we'll put our range there uh, our dial is around there now when you test you should expect to get it 10 to 12. so if we test here it has to rise and that's it 10.8 10.9 11 and we are stuck there so it means our capacitor is in perfect condition all right now you know how to test your capacitor please be very careful with electricity uh, always work out on your gadgets when they are unplugged thank you very much and uh, have a good one